Every word you speak about your photography is a spell. Bob Marley sings in Redemption Song, the last song he ever recorded, by the way. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Words do more than just communicate. They have the power to mold your reality. Learning how to put letters in order for others to make sense of them is called spelling. School teaches us to be obedient cogs in a machine. But what happens when you follow the line or question the wrong authority? You get expelled. Words are powerful. Add an S in front of word and you get sword. In this world, language is not just a tool for talking or writing. It's a force of transformation capable of changing your life. This is the domain of conscious language where every word you speak or think acts like a magic spell, shaping the world around you. Conscious language is all about choosing your words deliberately to spark positive changes in your life. It's a major step up from the automatic way that we often speak without thinking, tapping into the profound influence words have on making our hopes a reality. Photography is literally magic. But your camera isn't the only tool that we have that shapes our reality. Our words do as well. With three decades of experience in the industry, I've come to realize something very profound. As photographers, we're not just capturing images, we're speaking our careers into existence. Our language, believe it or not, is coded with immense power, a kind of enchantment that can define and elevate our work. Imagine this, every word that you utter about your photography is a spell casting intentions and possibilities into the world. This realization changed everything for me. As photographers and creatives, we're creators, ones that execute ideas for ourselves and others. We can turn ideas into reality. We can freeze moments and emotions in time. Our power extends beyond just pressing the shutter button. The way that we talk about our work, our aspirations, and even our challenges acts as a code and it's programming the trajectory of our careers. I talk so much about mindset, our minds have been set. They've been set by other people called teachers, administrators, politicians. What I try to do here is help you the talented creative that you are, trying to help you reset your mindset so you can build your skill set and your tool set to create assets. In my journey of over three decades, I've seen firsthand how the language I use influences the reception and the perception of my work. When I began, I stated my claim. I started telling people that I was a fashion photographer when I was 19. It seems nobody has any confidence anymore. When I hear shooters say, I'm not that good, or I'll probably never make a living at this, or I'll never get better at shooting portraits, they're actually just speaking those words into truth. When you start speaking of your work as my my future profession or my life's work, the perception of your work will transform. Clients began to see the value of my photographs when I was 20. I believed in myself and I continually was photographing models and improving and I spoke my career into existence. The words that I've spoken in my life have not just been descriptors, they were powerful affirmations of my skill and my vision. This isn't just about self-affirmation. The language that we use in conversations with clients or agencies or even the general public that shapes their understanding and appreciation of our work. If you speak about your work with conviction and passion, people listen, they engage, and they remember. Your words become narratives that weave through your portfolio, adding depth and context to your visuals. Think of each sentence that you speak or write as a sentence in the larger book of your career. These sentences, these spells that you cast, they connect together to form the story of who you are, who you are as a creator. Words are code. Are you coding your narrative with confidence, with creativity, with professionalism? Or are your words unintentionally writing an empty or less compelling story? Or are you not using your words at all? Are you actually trying to stay invisible? This realization about the power of language was a turning point for me. I shifted how I talked about myself, how I talked about my work, how I negotiated contracts, and how I connected with my audience. I learned that my language could open new doors to new opportunities and collaborations. It could build bridges where there were none before. Each word that I choose is deliberate, and this is the turnaround point for my career. So to you, the emerging photographer out there watching me, 
Understand this, your camera captures your ideas in the world as you create them, and your words project that vision outward to the world alongside your photography. You're not just working with ISOs, apertures, and shutter speeds, you're working with words and metaphors. Every photo description, every conversation, every social media post, every email, they're powerful spells that you're casting. Conscious language isn't just about getting what you want, it's about speaking with integrity, always aiming to benefit not just yourself, but those around you. Words are not just mere tools for chatting. They hold a kind of magic. Shaping our experiences and touching deeper layers of our being than we often realize. Imagine just how hearing the word love can brighten your mood or how fear might make you feel uneasy. Words reach deep into our psyche, triggering emotions and coloring our worldviews. Think about the vibes that your words send out. Are they positive, life-affirming, or are they always downers? Every word that you speak casts a ripple effect, influencing not just your listeners, but also bouncing back to you. By embracing conscious language, you're essentially choosing to spread positivity and build better realities for yourself and others. As photographers, using conscious language lets you cast your words with wisdom, turning everyday chats into opportunities for growth and positive impact. It's about making every word count, aligning your speech with your aspirations, and shaping your perspective and actions for the better. This approach doesn't just change the way that you talk, it transforms your way of thinking, encouraging a new narrative in your mind that uplifts and supports you. By choosing your words with care and intention, we harness the ability to create positive changes in our lives and the world around us, showing the profound connection between consciousness in this material world and the concept of shaping our reality through language. It's akin to the meticulous artistry of lighting, shooting an amazing portrait, making a still life. Just as you select your subject matter and framing with purpose, we can choose our words with the same deliberate intent creating massive changes in our lives. This practice of ancient spell casting transcends above the negative words that we use daily to embrace the true power of communication. Throughout history, various cultures have understood and harnessed this. Words wield transformative power. At the heart of this practice is intention. Every word that we speak carries an energy that impacts the world. By articulating our desires with focused intent, we start the process of manifestation, turning our aspirations into reality. So here's how you can apply this ancient wisdom. Define your intent. Be clear about what you want to achieve. Envision your goal with precision to create a focused intention. Choose your words. Select language that resonates with your desired outcome. Words should be uplifting and constructive, mirroring the energy that you wish to manifest. Spend no time thinking of negative outcomes. Any energy that you give to negativity makes it thrive, even if it's the energy that you're giving to the fear that you might feel. Speak with belief. Pronounce your words with conviction. Your faith and belief permeates your language with the strength to affect change. Act. Align your actions with your words. This alignment amplifies the energy, reinforcing the manifestation process. Talk is cheap, so action. Let go. Release your attachment to the outcome. Trust the timing and manner in which the universe works, allowing your desires to materialize naturally. If you believe in only positive outcomes, positive outcomes will always find you. By adopting this approach, you position yourself as the architect of your destiny. You're not just merely casting words into the void, but you're actively participating in shaping your existence. This method isn't about exerting control, but aligning yourself with the universe rhythms and treating your words as sacred tools that pave your path. Engage with this art form respectfully and watch as your reality transforms, reflecting the power of your words and your intentions. Accountability is another cornerstone of ethical language use. Reflect on your intentions, ensuring that they align with your core values and contribute positively to those around you. If your words cause unintended harm, take responsibility, 
offer a genuine apology and learn from the experience. Embrace conscious language, not just as a tool for personal growth, but also for empowering and uplifting others. Your words have the power to inspire change and to promote values like justice and compassion. By using conscious language thoughtfully, you contribute to a collective wave of positive transformation, building a more inclusive and empathetic world. Positive affirmations are a powerful method to change how you think and feel about yourself, effectively reshaping your reality. By adopting affirmations, you're tapping into the ability to rewire your brain, fostering positive changes in your attitudes in life. This approach works much like updating the software in your mind, introducing a new constructive thought patterns to replace outdated negative ones. Repeating affirmations, you're planting seeds of optimism and growth in your mental garden, and you nurture them to develop them into positive changes. Studies suggest that this practice alters the brain's neural pathways influencing your actions, your emotional state, your overall sense of well-being. To make the most of the affirmations, it's vital to pick phrases that genuinely resonate with you in a specific aspect of your life that you need to improve. If confidence is an area that you need to fix, start saying, I am worthy, I'm a good person, I'm deserving of success and happiness. It might seem flaky to you, but the affirmations that I say to myself have been incredibly impactful. Consistency is crucial for affirmations to work. Make it a habit to recite your chosen phrases daily, whether out loud or in your mind. Write them down and put them in visible spots around your workspace. The more that you interact with your affirmations, the deeper they embed into your subconscious, steering your thought process towards positivity. Embrace this understanding. Speak about your work with the same passion in which you make your work. Describe your work with precision and love. When you talk to clients, let your language reflect the uniqueness of your perspective. Be bold in stating your aspirations. Let your words paint the picture of a photographer who's not just skilled with a camera, but profound with thought and vision. Reflect on how you've been talking about your work. Have your words been coding a narrative of growth, aspiration, success, or have they been coding a more downplayed, reserved, negative mindset? Remember, you're actually speaking spells, positive or negative. Code your language with ambition and the realization of your dreams and combine that with the professionalism that you bring into focus with every image. In my 33 years of photographing the faces of today's generation, the greatest lessons I've learned is that my words are as important as my work. My negative words and thoughts have also manifested into reality way quicker than I would have liked. Positive or negative, words are powerful yet unseen forces that have shaped my reality. I shifted my mindset, my language, and that completely changed my reality. You hold the same power. Use it wisely, use it truthfully, and watch as the world responds to the magic that you create, both with your camera and your amazing way with words. Imagine what it would be like if you acted on the ideas that continually pop into your head. Watch this video next. I deep dive into the ideas and where they actually come from. Keep casting good spells and let the world be mesmerized by the stories you tell, both in your work and in your words. I'll see you on the next video. Watch that one next.